What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here. It's fun to say that again. Playing a ranked match, actually, versus Valentine, aka Football Eddie. And we got Structure Energy. Probably a bit of a surprise to see me playing that. Don't want the early Psalm Giant. Been playing a lot of energy recently. They used to be not so good in Scrolls, always outclassed by the other factions, but. Now there's so many different different viable decks, structures, ranged, automatons, even gray blocks. Mmm, this could be fun against Decay. Decay has a problem dealing with structures. Thunder Surge or let me get rid of the Thunder Surge. I might regret that. Wish I had a three drop structure to play, like a charge coil or a forge. But did not get the good starting hand. There we go, that's a good top deck. Okay, let's get rid of the. Mm, I'm gonna get rid of the Valent Dispersal. I have Potency Bursts in the deck, so it's not a huge deal. Okay, so not sure which Decay is playing, but considering the first two turns he didn't play anything, I don't think it's gonna be an aggressive YOLO undead kind of deck. Probably more of a late game ish one. I feel like there's like double music going on in the game right now. I'm gonna lower that. I'm not really sure. Okay. Don't like sacrificing sudden eruption, but I'm gonna do it. I could just burn that now. I think I'd rather just play the clock library. Yeah, because then next next turn I can just machine machine chant the rod eater. A lot of people complain about structure energy in the energy in the past. It's it's been somewhat viable ever since machine div divinators came out. Those humans that decrease the countdown of your structures and give them more health. I think it's been fun to play, but it's like it's decks like these that people complained about for scrolls being too slow, um, slow grind. But I mean, this deck is just destroyed by like a late game growth deck with a couple quakes. Hmm, maybe this is more of an undead deck, because this guy's an undead dude. I don't like don't like getting rid of two dumb out dispersals, but I guess I have to. This is a pretty good uh draw so far for me. Because now next turn I can just burn the flush animator. Got a got a bit of an audience. IR baboon. Interesting seeing new faces. So Valentine and I just kind of play ranked in such challenge matches. Might as well. Not much of a ranked ladder these days, but you get more gold instead of having the five match limit of challenge matches. It's kind of fun to see the names pop up up there again. Okay, this is going to get burned. Potency burst. Probably keep it. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just gonna play Forge. Play it up top. That was pretty greedy. <laughs> Instead of keeping the potency potency burst for that harvester, I think I can afford to be pretty greedy. I'm ahead by three resources. That clock library is gonna go off. It's not like Decay has anything to really destroy that unless I see a double revenant restless bones okay yeah this is an undead deck okay, I'll get rid of the useless contraption so assault battery is a really good structure for structure energy I can make everything go off right now don't really need this stuff to go off right now so I won't I'm going to pump this up and I'm actually going to play another clock library. Might as well, right? I could have just pumped this again to get a creature faster, but let's see what it pings. Guess that's lucky. Had the one in three chance to hit that. It does make his harvesters count down. I'm not too worried about that, though. He's got a lot of idle damage to deal. 
Valentine got the best of me with this deck uh, last time we played. We've been playing a good amount. Been seeing a lot of each other's playstyle in different decks. This is just this is our third match in the past hour or so. I've been uh, we both just both won one. I lost with some grave locks and I won with some. I don't remember the first deck I played, but this is basically the third game in a best of three. Essentially, potion resistance is going to be impossible for him to deal with on a structure. I don't think I need to use it. <clears throat> I'd rather get rid of this soon. I'm going to play Oculus Cannon Assault Battery, I think. Or I could play a Sudden Eruption. Yeah, I'm going to play a Sudden Eruption. Oculus Cannon Assault Battery could make it attack. I don't think that's a big deal. Because next turn I can just spark the Harvester. And this thing is going to die soon. He goes for more resources. I'd like to get some Machine Divinator so I can have it going a little more. Okay. So... I'm gonna get rid of the Forge now. I could go Oculus Cannon Assault Battery. And then I'll destroy these. I wouldn't destroy the Anima Conduit, actually. Anima? Anima? I don't know. I'll sacrifice the forge for scrolls. I think sudden eruption is the play again. Yeah. That's pretty good top deck. Okay. Up. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Guess it's not a huge deal. I mean if I if I hit the husk or the condo it would have would have hurt him as well. Getting I guess lucky on those pings though. Should have moved the automaton down. No biggie though. So there's also a scrolls league tournament of sorts that's starting up soon. A lot of familiar faces in it. Um, the Overlord, uh, Color Plant, so Blinky maybe, Franconi, WBMC, Valentine here. It's not a good matchup for him. So I might make some videos on those games. They should be fun. So Machine Chan, I have three machines. Can I make it four machines? I think I can make it four machines. Or I could just make it three. I don't think I need the potion resistance anymore. I'm going to get rid of it. Let's just pump this. Hit that. And let's see if I get lucky with the charge coil again. Although all three of them are, I guess, lucky. Yeah, that's fine. Could have played the Oculus Cannon or Assault Battery first. I don't think I needed to do that. I'd rather wait and use that as removal for something bigger, like finally takes out that charge coil. That charge coil has been an MVP. Since I haven't had a lot of like machine divinators and even though I've had a very good star structure energy, like he has a bigger like board control now. But I can just remove his creatures now. So a spark on this thing. Oculus Cannon Assault Battery, maybe? I think I'm just going to spark it. 
a spark xcog I'll get rid of the potion I like all my other stuff so let's spark that move this down, move this down play an xcog pump it up once and call it a day xcog got nerfed towards the end of scrolls too with the increased countdown to four i think it's not that strong anymore so i have a violent dispersal to get rid of the rot eater or a potency burst would do fine as well a lot of resources so i can do pretty big plays at this point in the game and uh... Oh, by the way I'm now playing on my PC again instead of my Mac and recording so I hope that the video audio everything quality of this video is superior to the last and that charcoal is doing so well but now that it's not here it's one health creatures are annoying and I don't have I might not have any more sudden eruptions in the deck because I already played two okay so that rot eater is going so I need five resources to destroy that rot eater. I think I'm just going to go with a Oculus Cannon Assault Battery though. Right? Because that's going to destroy this as well. So, the Meyer Shambler. Oculus Cannon Assault Battery is seven, but I'm going to need to have... How many resources to do that? Because the, the Assault Battery needs another resource to have 100% chance of it hitting all the structures with the Surge. I need to have three extra. So that's 70, 10 resources. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the Forge for Scrolls. Alright, so let's go with the Oculus Cannon. Assault Battery. Just put it down here, I guess. And then that's all going to attack. Good stuff. And now, this actually has an attack. GG. Uh, only short video here, so I'm going to try to squeeze another game in. I'll play an aggro deck. Hopefully he's down to play another game. I unlocked the decay starter. Yep, I am still a weekly winner. <laughs> Much later. A little bit of a ranked ladder here. Blinky's uh, holding up at number one. Okay, let's play an aggressive deck. Let's play Tempo Order. Alright, is this good? I'm going to want a new starting hand. This is better. Don't need a Dominion effect. Wow, uh, only 12 minute structure energy game. That's what Scrolls needs. <laughs> To be fair, he that was pretty much the worst matchup for him. A structure energy deck with charge coils and the like. Goodbye, focus. Hello, scout. Um, next turn, I'm gonna play a three drop. I'll get. I'll take the guard. I'd rather play that than the pack foul, just because of the four health against energy. I'm going to separate these just because, you know, doubt I'm going to be doing like some kind of blessing of haste or something, but more controlled board. Makes him a little more scared to play the unit. Yeah, the pack file was a fine turn 3 play, but easy burn target. And the Dominion, not in effect yet. So next turn I can play the, I'll draw the four health guy, probably sacrifice a pack foul. Canister automaton, we're playing against automatons. So this guy is going to be annoying for all of my melee creatures. Someone's got to kill him though. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept these guys in the middle, because <laughs> now they're not 
facing him. Okay. Could have moved him down. Probably should have. Strangely afraid of a turn three Thunder Surge. Guess it's possible the power trip. So, I can't play the Vanguard next turn. I'm probably going to want to play another creature, though. So. Okay. Blessing of Haste. I guess I'm going to sacrifice the Vanguard for scrolls now. Hmm, that was not... Yeah, this might come back to bite me with the fact that I didn't have the Asian Knight with the... with the other guy. I am going to... I'm going to take it out. Eh, no, I'm not. I don't want to waste a Blessing of Haste when I'm not in very much danger there. So I can play the Relorus. For Tempo Order, I haven't been seeing this uh, that often. So, it's burn time. I don't know if he wants to use his burn on this lousy little scout, though. Ideally, he's not able to destroy this Expedition Guard this turn. And he could burn and not get the card from it. I want to be able to destroy this Forge. It's going to be a tough decision next turn. If he does destroy this Guard, I might want a Blessing of Haste, the Scout, to destroy the Forge before it goes off. But then I can't really play the Relorus. Wish I had a 3 drop in hand. Okay, is he going with the... What's he going to do? Machinated it. That's not what I wanted to see. Hmm. And a wind-up auto. Okay, blessing of haste. I think I just have to play the Relorus. I don't really have control of the board, which is an issue. Mm. I need to get rid of this forge, so I'm gonna sacrifice the bean potion. Actually, you're over the focus. Three drop. Okay, scout. At least I can play a scout. Okay, let's play the scout. Aging knight. Okay, let's blessing of haste. And let's get out of here. So next turn I'll play the Lord Knight. Wings Cleaver doesn't do much of that Dominion. Goes for five energy. He's gonna play a two drop now. Might just be ramping up to a Thunder Surge next turn, knowing I have to connect my creatures. Okay, goes for that. Okay, I think we just have to start playing things. Hello, Lord Knight. 
Oh, you can't play a Thunder Surge. Let's move up. I don't want to be. I don't want to be killed by these wind-up autos. A Aging Knight Roasted Beam Potion could be a way to destroy one of them. Not feeling too good about this game right now, though. The Automatons. Akamaton. I don't like seeing that. That's going to be annoying. Okay. Do I get rid of a Roasted Bean Potion now? Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. Pother. Could pother and destroy one of these guys. I think I should. This thing's gonna start to get huge. I gotta do it though. Or I could play the Agent Knight Duke. I'll I'll pother. Let's just play the Ducal Infantryman. Takes out one of those guys. Not enough. Last auto. Hmm. This is not looking too good. How do I get rid of that blast auto? I need to focus. Ducal Skirmisher is good. I don't think I'm going to win this game, to be honest. It's a tall task for tempo order. I'm just going to hang up the cleats, I think. This thing's going to attack and destroy stuff. GGWP. So, thanks for watching, guys. You saw one win, one loss. Until next time.